A module called math in Python provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the C standard. So let us have a look at some of the functions provided by the math module. So to start with, let's import the math module by writing import math. So let's first take a look at the math dot seal function. The math dot seal function, the math dot seal function will return the smallest integer greater than a given number. So let's say, for example, if we have a if we have a number something like twenty three. twenty three point two so the smallest number greater than this smallest integer number sorry so the smallest integer number greater than this uh, number is equal to twenty four so that is what the math dot seal function will return so if you pass twenty three point two you'll get as twenty four so similarly there's a math dot floor function which basically will return the greatest integer less than the given number so what is the greatest integer less than 23.2 so this is obviously equal to 23 right so if you pass 23.2 you will get a number which is equal to integer number which is equal to 23 So next, let's look at math dot fabs function. So math dot fabs, which will return the absolute value of a given number. So absolute value is basically all about converting negative number to a positive number. So for example, if we have a if you want to find absolute value of minus two point five. So it is. It will basically remove the. So it will basically remove the negative and convert it into positive, right? So if there is no sign, it basically means it is a positive number. So the absolute value of a positive number remains unchanged, right? So if you have a positive number, you can write plus, or if you don't write anything, it is also a positive number so it remains unchanged so next let us look at factorial function so let's before doing that let's quickly understand what factorial is so let's say for example if we have a number right so for example 3 so what is 3 factorial equal to so 3 factorial is equal to 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 6 okay it's basically if if you are finding a number uh, for example 3 factorial it is 3 into 2 into 1 so what is the factorial of 4 so 4 factorial equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so which is equal to 4 to the 12 to the 24 so that's what factorial is so if you want to find the math dot factorial of 3 which is equal to 6 similarly the math dot factorial of 4 will be equal to 24 so next let's uh, have a look at f sum um, which returns so this is math dot f sum which will basically uh, returns the sum of all the elements inside an iterable so for example if I find if I pass an iterable for example let's pass uh, a list a list of some numbers so I'll pass 1 comma 2.5 comma 3 okay so what is the sum of all these elements 1 plus 2.5 plus 3 which is equal to 
6.5 right so you get that value so it will just add up all the elements inside a given iterable in this case we have a list so it will add up all the elements inside a given list and returns back the output so next uh, let's have a look at a function which gives the GCD or the greatest common divisor of given two numbers so for example if we have uh, let's say we have two numbers for example 8 and uh, 12 so what is the number what is the largest number which divides both of these numbers any guesses so it is actually equal to 4 right so because 4 divides both 8 so it is 4 to the 8 it divides both 12 right which is 4 3 is 12 so it is the maximum integer number which divides both of these numbers so that is why the greatest common divisor of 4 of, of 8 and 12 is equal to 4 so you have a function in uh, python to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers so let's write math dot gcd of 8 comma 12 so it should be equal to 4 so now let's take a look at power and logarithmic functions okay so math dot exponential exp so this function returns e to the power of given number so remember that the value of e or epsilon is equal to 2.718 so what i'm trying to say is if you have a given number right if you pass a number for example i'll pass 2 here uh, or else i'll pass 1 okay so what happens is it will give this number e to the power of 1 so what is e to the power of 1 is nothing but e so what is the value of e it is equal to 2.718 so if i execute this you will get a value equal to 2.718 so similarly if i write math dot exp of 2 so what will be the value so it's basically nothing but e to the power of 2 which is equal to e into t e into e so which is nothing but 2.718 into 2.718 okay so this is the number that you will get so if I execute this you'll get some number 7.38 okay <clears throat> so we have that function and um, so next uh, let's have a look at logarithmic function so for example the log of for example let's let's take a look at one example so if we have if you want to find the log of log of 10 to the base 2 so this is equal to somewhere around 3.32 okay so similarly if you want to find out the log of um let's say phi to the base of phi two. so if you have a same number uh, so if you have a same number here and in the same number in the base section the answer that you're going to get is one so for example if you want to find log of 10 to the base 10 it is also equal to 1 so let's try to find out uh, we have a function we in python to find this okay <clears throat> so if let's try to find out first the math dot log of 10 to the power of base 2 what was the value it was equal to 3.32 right so that is what we get here and the next one that We want to check is math dot log of same numbers right of oh, phi and phi it should be equal to 1 so there's a f there's a power function in math module so let's say we want to find the uh, 2 to the power of 3 for example if we want to find 2 to the power of 3 which is equal to you know 2 into 2 into 2 right so which is equal to 8 
so if you want to find this we have a module we have function in uh, math module to find that as well so we have math dot power of 2 to the power of 3 so we'll get 8 also we have a, a square root function okay so for example what is the square root of uh, what is the square root of 16 it is equal to 4 right why because 4 into 4 is equal to 16 that is why square root of 16 is equal to 4 okay so if you want to find this square root of a given number you can make use of this function math dot sqrt and pass the number 16 so we'll get 4 so we also have trigonometric and hyperbolic functions such as sine cos tan and hyperbolic sine cos tan functions in the math module so for example if you want to find the math the sine of 10 so you'll get minus so I guess uh, it is taking radians so you have to pass the radians here so similarly if you want to find math dot hyperbolic sine function of 10 it is somewhere around uh, this number okay so similarly you have uh, functions just like this for cos and tan as well so we also have a function which will convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees so here is an example for example i will say math dot degrees so i'll pass radians here which is 1.57 which is close to 90 degrees so it will give the value in degrees so we'll get around 89.95 okay so if i want to convert a degree to radian so i'll have to pass for example if i want to convert 90 degrees to radians you'll get a value 1.5707 okay so we also have uh, values for some of the mathematical constants such as pi epsilon and tau okay so for example if you want to find the value of pi which is roughly equal to 3.14 so you have you can make use of math dot pi and you also have math dot e which is equal to around 2.718 and also we have math dot tau which is equal to 6.28 okay